Time, but it was a pretty decent showing on the T side. No, it's going to go off. I don't think it's going to be the bashing everyone's going to expect. Uh, well, I couldn't imagine anything worse than starting T side Ancient know, against Navi to kick off the day as the first game, the first I'm not slated saying it's match. Be easy. And nor are the odds. Uh, one I expect quite clearly favoring Navi here. That Yo, is uh, okay, substantial odds in their favor. <laughs> I don't think I've seen them that. Uh different before that's quite insane all right then let's get into it surreal he'll be making his way up and towards the b sites and it's the glock who's going to try and cause a bit of damage here. he actually has snuck through all the way towards ct this is quite problematic electronic has been very good on pistols in this tournament can he deliver here apparently not kiabi will take him down and the bomb has been planted chad and they've got the five on four someday young will be waiting towards the cave position the retake will begin momentarily but endpoint have given up a lot of these scenarios they should be good for this one right here endpoint you can see simple still taking his time over towards mid the two in cave they've been here the whole time Smoked off, finally fading. Flash towards spawn, and the peak's gonna come off the back of that. But they need to get a move on. Bomb is already halfway gone, and Bit needs to find a fight. The double swing coming through, crucial, just peppering away, and they'll run him down. Great work from Surreal here. The Ready last the three just marooned in cave, should save, get away, save the Kevlar, there because go. this is gonna be endpoint's first round. You well, said that T side style would be a problem, but at least for now, it's looking quite good. And endpoint, to be fair, when they're winning oh. pistol, three of them go oh. down. That's not weird. Like, you like to keep that armor ideally, but no, it's a nice fadeaway kill there. Um, to be fair, they've been very good at converting three zeros when they have been winning pistols. We actually haven't seen Endpoint lose to too many uh, force by rounds, so I'm interested to see what they bring to the table here. But there it is, a nice little B play, and there it is, three plays go down really isn't what you'd like to see. But uh, still, the round win, they'll take that all day long. No problem at all. Surreal, sneaking through to the back lines there, getting up towards long B. And uh, once he was there and posted, they locked the players out from cave. The retakes have been difficult for Endpoint, but they actually hold strong for once, and that's actually pretty convincing. Uh, one of the keys yesterday was the closeness in those pistols rounds remember both teams like sitting diffusers yeah, exactly. in front of each other's faces so mm -hmm. this one has been one of the the cleaner at least uh, for us in the last couple of days here but a little bit of a technical timeout called early we'll get all of the hiccups out of the way early what did you make of the, the puppy that was on screen? Is that your kind of dog? I never know how to feel about, you know, they say don't work with animals and children, and Tracer was, was working I, with I both there. I thought that was there, a very so. brave move. Uh, yeah. Who knows what could happen when an animal comes out on live TV. And maybe that's half the fun, right? You know, Tracy, he likes to, he likes to take some risks. He's getting magic to kick over chairs live. He's bringing dogs on the set. We'll see what True. he does next. He's got a, a bag of tricks. So maybe I'm a bag of treats. Have, there's no animals uh, in this side of the... Just you and me. Uh, yeah, just us do. The Maltese mad lads, they're calling us. Well, this could be the Maltese mauling, right? It started uh, right <laughs> for Endpoint here. It's 1-0, Let's see how long that continues. Oh, is it a Felico? They've at least got two rounds, Chad. Well, this is the thing. If you're Perfecto, you, you want something. You've you're at thinking, least got two boss man, let me, let me grab something. Perfecto's gone into a P250 with that, look at the Kevlar. They're going the quick mid smoke. The flash is to follow here. And Navi, they're not going to charge their way forward. They take their time in the man of the moment, Nerds. You've been singing his praises. I think he deserved to go in the wow factor column, to be honest with you. Like, just for what he's done in the games that have been so difficult, I think he's a, a fantastic talent. And uh, this was probably his best looking map as well. He has a great understanding of the mid area, uh, threads the needle through the smokes towards Dona and towards CT Spawn and Red Room. Uh, interested to see whether he can do it against this tier of opposition, obviously, in Spirit. Um, oh. Might be a different kettle of fish altogether here. Electronic, though, doing a ton of damage as USBs do 99 towards nerds. He'll be smoking himself up and falling back, and Navi trying to reclaim some territory towards middle. Yeah, they should be fine here. That was a little interesting play towards top mid, right? They had two players left and right off the red room, and then more players deep, just hoping for that mid swing. Oh. Or at least the push, not going to be the case. And the same utility. Cave smoked, and over towards the, the uh, speedway, right? Deep towards the death cube as the CTs rotate back in. So two rounds, similar smokes from Endpoint cube. here. Is that what we're calling them? Well, I, I consider that should be one of the most highly contested parts of the B-bomb site if the T's want to make Absolutely. sure that they're post. Estate, right? Because, yeah, your post plant sucks. Yep, absolutely. Like, that's, that, for me, is when Surreal got in that position, the pistols, like, that's so strong to get there. If you can just duck and weave and hold them off, especially if you've got a couple of flashes, very powerful. Oh, no, it's going to have some issues here. Gifted over an AK. Perfecto does have the Kevlar. Simple will be the one to pick that up and just holding on to this, maybe a bit more damage. Perfecto's P250 strikes. Max, he's in the grave and Kirby wants to hold on to his more guns for Navi would be oh, tidy nice. here and the kills keep coming they can't give over too many more frags the bomb goes off the round secured and crucial he can at least defend so they yeah. hold on to an AK they have Quite a few expensive. casualties Quite not expensive. ideal I think no. we call that yeah absolutely not ideal Chad I'm not gonna lie to you that one hurt so round three we expect the full buy here um I don't know if we have the AWP out but uh, time will tell I don't think we do it's an MP9 for some day young 
and simple. He's going to give the AK. No, the king gets the AK. He yeah, gets of course the, he does. Do you remember the time back in the day where it was not the case at all and he'd be on the Deagle and whenever there was an AK available, we'd go in the hands of Zeus, perhaps? Yeah, look, that, uh, those, oh, times, those times are over. Just like uh, uh, Yanko saying that simple won't be running around I, just looking I for pits. I totally agree. I think like, yeah. for them to be uh, this number one team in the world, you can't rely on that. They need to be a more consistent fragging unit and play more traditional counter-strike and he's maturing as a player and he probably understands oh. that as well. Dear. Good job from that. I told you, it'd be a nuisance there. And he's actually given an open runway in towards this A site with that one kill. Bit to respond from Donut, but they're maybe closer than he was expecting. A one for one trade, and they're in. That will do. The trades favor the T side, especially on a map like Ancient as well. This is a big kill here. Electronic with that AK 47 decimates crucial. He only had the Galil, and now they're advancing heavily in favor of Navi with these Galils remaining. It is Kiabi and Mighty Max. Kiabi's been pretty decent. Consider real, relatively decent considering expectations. I would say Mighty Max not so much. I just keep returning to what Yanko said. SDY is the lowest rated player for Navi, know, who I is know. higher rated than everybody on Endpoint, right? So for, for me, as soon as Yanko said that, that sums up this entire matchup here. I know. So, so they've made their way it's in fair. towards the B site at least, right? They've been able to force the rotations over towards A. They bit down heavy their Navi, but they have the man advantage in this retake. They have a kit, they have a smoke, everything they could desire to pull on their first round. Yeah, this is not looking good for Endpoint whatsoever. They would have to have an ungodly crossfire at this point, Chad. They can't sit back either. They need at least one frag to go in their favor before the retake begins. Max understands that. He's going to have to challenge somewhat. We'll see whether he can get any sort of spam work in. He actually received a lot of damage here. That'll probably be him done momentarily. Oh. Nice work from Kiabi, though. If Max can stay alive, this could be a bit of a nuisance here. Kiabi smoked off, but not for long. And they're going to be focusing towards Max. He has to fight, does significant damage, and the wall bank comes in. Kiabi, he can actually pull this one off. And there it is. The spam comes in through twice, Chad. And it will be a 3-0 star for Endpoint. Okay, and uh, notes the man center on your screen right here. Open this one up. Force that rotation over towards A, which eventually had that avenue back in towards the B bomb site. You were thinking in patches of the mid round right there. Too many gaps, too many gaps. These but... not the factors I mentioned, Chad. No. Nerds going in towards middle, opening things up, and it happens in the first gun round. And Kirby clutching, right? We, we saw some rounds where they were in similar situations and unable to convert. It was Max, I think, who was coming in a little bit more clutch yesterday on this very map. But this is a great start. Navi, they've heart, well, no, they're full bought here. They understand that only one player survived from endpoint, so they've gone all in. This is very interesting buying pattern yeah. for the CTs. Yeah, this, this is where it can spiral, though, that they keep forcing out like this. I, I said outside to some of the players, like, one of the win factors here, if they keep force buying and destroy their economy, that's when you can actually sink your teeth in. We'll see if that's the case, but this is still a very dangerous round. It yeah. cannot be understated. But this is a, a very important one. You can see the MAC-10s, the Galils are out once more. They only have a couple of AKs. Navi, considering this skill on that side, you'd say it's probably quite an even situation here. Yeah. Well, that's one of the keys, right? The high-level Counter-Strike teams at the moment, they can make anything work, right? Exactly. The phases, the Navis, the best of the best. Uh, you give them one rifle, a couple of pistols, they're going to show you something special. Every round for them, they have a solution, or at least give themselves an opportunity. And they control late this time. No rush on this. Is Electronic on the jiggle? Is it just for info? Is it for a fight? Well, either way, he's seen enough. Smoked off, vision denied, and Red Room is where they set their sights. Slowly ascending up the stairs. To deal with this is Simple and his Deagle. Well, he might have been heard be, here. Could be a problem, but yes, I think he made a footstep, but he normally hits these sort of shots. Nerds, so it gets a better of him this time. Another opening frag for Nerds. Same player goes down. Five on four. And remember, this is a full investment from Nabi as well. Looking for that 4-0. Kiabi... It's a little bit toasty towards the donuts and surreal. He might be caught off in the timing, doesn't look great, but still they come out on top, taking significant damage, but surreal. And Nuts will Time's take care of business. Here. And uh, Electronic towards CD Spawn, but yes, you're right, 15 seconds. Some die young. Oh, he's playing it very well. The fact he's at this pillar, he's going to die everything. One kill. If they can't take him down now, they're in Need trouble. Need Getting into the site here, bomb scooped up. Kirby needs to plant this now. Six on the clock. Plenty of time to plant, but coming into this, trying to spam and deny. Nerds has taken down bit. Just electronic with the only rifle here, and everybody is very low. Electronic. Tim been having a great tournament so far. He has. In game leader with the rifle. Eight bullets. No kit to his name. Waiting for a mistake to be made. Someone to get complacent. And I think it might happen just now. Kiabi. He'll take a peek, but it's okay. The bomb's halfway gone. No kit available, but electronic looks like he's making all the right moves here. Doesn't quite check the long area, and it's going to be crucial coming out on top. 4-0, Chad. That's a full eco for Navi coming up next. Well, partial by, I suppose. They force board into the previous, but 4-0. Uh, 
to kick things off here for the underdogs. Yeah, well, uh, the max loss bonus in play should see just some, some light investments here. But you have yeah. SDY Electronic and Bit all around that 4K mark. So, you know, seeing how crazy Navi really want to go. But this is the thing. When Navi get off to these slower starts like this, then they'll just wait. They'll get out all the guns. They'll get out the AWP, all the goodies, all the util they're looking for. And that should be the change of tune. But that won't be until round number six they have to win these endpoint can't afford to give up a round like this sure it happens a lot to all teams but they're gonna have any chance in this map they have to convert this oh. one and that's not the start they're looking for simple this time comes down on top in the opening duel mighty max dropped and they smoked out any chance of a trade has been thwarted so this is where things get a little bit complicated fortunately they did not give up the rifle but deagle is in the hands of navi it's just as dangerous to be honest in a long range map like ancient plenty of angles where you can take off heads and nerds he might be called upon again to try and work towards his CT spawn position. Yeah, well, tucked in electronic, he's in a hard clear in the red room at the moment. Smoke has just faded. 5-7, and maybe Simple could try and bait in another mid smoke. This one is much, way too deep. Yeah, look how deep this is. Electronic is aware. He's actually going to have the advantage here if they were to push top mid and try and clear. So we'll have to sit on his haunches for now. A little the tidbit for you, Chad. Yeah. All of Na'Vi are using the same purple gloves. Um, okay. Rush pointed it out to me. He wanted to let you know they're all using Pandora's gloves, so these purple ones. So just a little uniform they brought out. I wonder if that's intentional because you can sometimes spot players and who they are by their gloves. Yeah, I think that's maybe a good point. You're playing all the same model. Uh -oh. and um uh -oh. Using the same glove. No, it's all good. There's a couple of seconds. Fine. Now it's all bring things back into contention. Crucial. Yeah, they should be able to trade out Electronic as well, which they do. Three versus two. The round has not slipped by the wayside just yet. Like I said, this is must win for endpoint. Sure, they're going to be 4-0 up and 4-1 doesn't sound too bad, but they have to take every opportunity they can get. There won't be many of them once the real gun round start. The orbs come out. And uh, for now, this is looking quite comfortable. Again, no kits, but uh, simple and bit. Known to hit a Deagle shot or two. Uh, this one's over here. They're just looking for damage right now. So I've been to uh, pad the stats at this juncture, and we can have a look at the stats because I don't expect too much excitement. Nurse has got eight kills early. That's fantastic work. Crucial on five, four for Kirby, three for Surreal. Max did get off the board, but as the in-game leader, the scoreboard, right? And I'm not talking about the one that gets from uh, top to bottom with 10 players. Talking I'm talking about, the, about the, the, the one right at the top of everybody's screen. That's yeah. the only scoreboard that matters. Absolutely. But you don't want to be finishing on zero, right? No, you definitely don't. Uh, <laughs> but uh... what you're saying is right, but I, I think more than zero would be <laughs> ideal. But uh, here we go, then. This is where the game really starts, Chad. That has to be said. The orbs coming out. They'll realize now, okay, they've, they've managed to have this good start. But I do agree with you. This is where Na'Vi will start to uh, really cause some damage here. 4M4A4, simple on the orb, of course. And we'll see what kind of gameplay that we bring to the table. Whether they want to go for an early dynamic pick or just play a standard round and let Endpoint come to them. Endpoint haven't had the cleanest of rounds. Their money's relatively low for someone who's up 5-0 right now. But That's very uh, true. we'll see whether they can hold on and at least make this round competitive. It'll be indicative as to how the rest of the half will go. Okay, well, smoked off now, SDY. I flash forward and he... As a peak, the pre-fire was there, but he did catch the brunt of that flash. Simple starting over towards B with this AWP, and there's oh, some Max. damage done. Max is peppered down yeah, to nine points of health the very one the early. Round that gets up. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, so close. Yeah, ever since the change, it's not as spammable as it once was, yeah. right? It's still spammable, but not as spammable with some of these new tarps that are put into place. But Perfecto has drawn first blood. He sure has to sit and watch. As mentioned, Max is low here, B2. And, well, now that the Util's there, the weapons are there, Endpoint have been stifled, and there's a minute on the clock, so this mid-control is where they're really going to have to hope they can find success yet again. Yeah, well, the HP on Kiabi and Mighty Max would seem, mean the nerds need to find maybe three kills to stand a chance here. The spam's being attempted once again. Little boost here for the star player. The thing is, they don't have to give them the fights right now. They have the number advantage. The time is starting to tick in Na'Vi's side. True. This is a little bit late here for this mid-control. You wouldn't be expecting anybody of this caliber of Counter-Strike hanging around late. They can have the information from elsewhere. A is just being denied. Yeah. B doors has been blocked. 34 seconds on the clock, and they have to finish towards this B site. Uh, you would actually think, considering the financial situation, a save would be better. Nerds can drop next round Kyobi 2, and that looks like what they're starting to relinquish. I right? think that's Dropping fine. back, going to save, and you go for another one in the next. Accepting the round's over. Kyobi's already low. Um, totally fine. Instead of just running in in vain and just feeling like, well, that was a waste of time. Didn't feel like they really had a chance after that spam came in. Exactly. Like they, the spam got they didn't like, even find a fight. He got two players. He got two dinks within the first 20 seconds. Uh, Max was down to 9 HP, then and Crucial wasn't far behind. So, yeah, not ideal whatsoever, but that was uh, great work from Perfecto and Sunday Young. And uh, like we said, that sets the tone for the rest of the half. A uh, little bit rattled endpoint after that one. Didn't see anyone and lost two players. 
And we'll get into round number seven here. So a timeout called. I think it's a good time to do it as well. Just kind of uh, make sure everyone's calm and controlled. See on the back of Bits Monitor there. Actually, you can see it here on, uh, on Mighty Max Go as on. well. The little, the little arm, the little arm for the headphones. I don't know if you use the arm for your headphones. Oh, you see it poking I, I, out, I protruding there. Ours, on ours come out the side, we have the, the white yes, edition. But, uh, exactly. Yeah, the little, little headphone arm. They, they think of everything these days, don't they? I use wireless headphones at home, so I have to charge them usually. So okay. they're not on the... There's no arm. Yeah, well, they can put, they can go there, but I normally have them charging when I'm not using them, you know, so they go on the, the power bank. I area. really want to get that. See, my cable management is terrible, but I would really love to have the full wireless. I just, I still don't completely trust in, in, in some of the wireless situations. If you trust the mouse, Chad, that's the most important one, so... Yeah, you're right. That's the one if you're you're putting all your trust there. The headset, it, it's a revelation. You have to walk around the house and your dad and just kind of focus yeah, on Rush something else. Yeah, goes to the kitchen washing dishes. I have to listen to him <laughs> running the bloody faucet, mate. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, then here we go. It's going to be the next gun round here, as mentioned, Old Nuts. Uh, they did save three weapons and similar scenes here in the next round. Follow up, smoke, spam, but kill. That's a move. This is their own smoke, right? They, they've thrown that smoke. They tried to flash him through for space, and he's been accounted for. He's right. been dealt with. It was very, very easy there, and it's, it's a limp opener, right? So it's a great start for Endpoint with the five, but if these rounds continue to kick off like this, it is going to be difficult. We need to see some pep in the step, and chance for Crucial there on the AWP as Simple goes flying past. And bear in mind, Chad, Navi did give up Ancient as well to Fnatic yesterday, 16-14, right? So if ever there was a weakness, this this could be the map for him. Just going to state that. Well, SDY has got one of the most favored positions to play here in towards Cave. It's a pressure point. It's difficult to get the multi-kills, but he's going to get called upon to do exactly that. Damage done to Max, but he will get revenge. SDY silenced early, and we find ourselves into the four okay. on, well, four on uh, three right now. The, ma the Max nade. It's beautiful. The mighty grenade sent across the map to take down the star player of Na'Vi, and it looks like a slight B finish here. We do have one player towards middle holding, waiting. Perfecto though, stuck in a difficult spot, but that's the low HP max going down here. Crucial responds in kind. They maintain that man advantage for now. They have to finish B though. They I don't have think there's to. time to rotate back. So are they going to take their time? They're just going to get peeled apart one by one. Bit gets yeah. a free fight onto Kirby. Bomb trying to rotate now as two of them head through Donut. They know that both players were over towards the B site. 20 seconds, so there is time to get the bomb across here. There will be a plant. Good smoke down towards Donut. I'll buy them some time to reposition. But what kind of setup can they bring to the table? Crucial with one off. They're going to disrespect this, yep. Oh, that was the one. The opportunity. Likely won't strike twice. Oh, Perfecto offers himself up, though, and Crucial nails that one. It's bit left in a two versus one. A lot to do here. Has no kit and now no health. Six ones to endpoint, Chad. You've got to say that's a good response. Yeah, and from Mighty Max, right? That's his first two kills, and yep. they're round-defining kills right there. The nade, sure, straight on the toes, it's simple, but it was the one on SDY that's a little bit of the more importance. Winning that heads-up fight, going to do wonders for his confidence. Here it is again. So stepping out, the Molotov to isolate the right. They can focus on the left. Good counter-strike. And then the HE just comes through, barreling forward. Simple. Just, just about. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't, I didn't think the nade had gone deep enough there, but Simple was so low. Well, that's what they're going to need, Chad. A bit of luck on their side today as well. Okay, well, Navi can buy again, but maybe with this luck, they can break them. Yeah, and that's around when Nerds goes down straight away and they still convert it. Well, that was David's slingshot right there. Yeah, it absolutely was. Not bad. All right, this is the kill for Simple, I think. Yeah, unfortunate for Crucial, he's in the prime position to take him down. But he did that a lot yesterday as well, right? So sure. Simple as an AWPA can just go over there and get tasked with finding that pick. The same thing for this mid defense. They know the way that Nurts wants to yes. approach it. Agreed. I think they were fortunate in the previous round to get that double kill back, but now where do the answers come from? And is there anything else in the playbook here? Seven, uh, sorry, six on the T side is great. Seven would be fantastic. Even they probably buy your arm off before the game started. If you, said, get seven on the, yeah. you can get seven on your T side and then regardless what happens after that. I think they would have bitten an arm off if you said, boys, you can have T side pistol. Yeah, uh, right. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about the conversions. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give you the pistol. This is a great start from Endpoint, yeah. all things considered. Absolutely. I'm happy to see it. But a five on three for now, maybe another save situation as we keep saying the, the money, even though they're winning rounds, it's been a nightmare. Lots of Galils and uh, lots of casualties in these rounds, not very clean ones. Now, if they do save, it would be more beneficial for them to hold on to this residual utility, right? By limping it out right now, there's not going to be a whole lot to spread around in the follow-up. A smoke towards long. The spam's not bad. There's still three players on this site. Another smoke. Yeah, and there it is. It's just signified. So uh, if this is the flow of the rounds, that's okay, right? At this point for Endpoint, they can risk playing like this. They, they just need a couple more. Or they can happily sit on six. So 
It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not the most exciting. No, I'm going to get $1,400 into the next round. So no, it's, he might be thrown an AK by a teammate, I suppose, but will likely be on Galil. Um, we'll see what the case is going to be after this one. But uh, Mighty Max saving the AWP. That's uh, a nice pickup. Crucial can have his moments. I'd say consistency is his issue. He's either really, really hot for three rounds and then has a couple of big whiffs as well. Hopefully we uh, see the former today. He doesn't get an easy duel against Simple there, right? So they, they might have to start flashing that position consistently. Then Simple's going to relocate. You see Blade there. He's just listening to the to the conversation. Immediate out of his mouth is a no. It is a timeout. The second here of Endpoint. So a chance for the coaches to chip in. But it's Electronic's birthday. He's turning 24 years young. He looks he's, happy about it. He's been here forever. Yeah. And he's only 24. That's It's mad, isn't it? Isn't it crazy? Yeah. I turned 34 the other day. So uh, that's where I'm at. It's well, you, uh, got ten, you got 10 years on him. 10 years. I think when, when JKS has 10 him? years on Monacy. Really? Yeah, I think Justin's 27, Monacy's 17. I, I assume Justin was like 24. Well, yeah, he's yeah. one of those you never think would age yeah. either. Okay, yeah, you're right. I guess he was like playing a 2015 with you, yeah. right? So yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. That was seven years ago. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's when I first started commentating as well. So yeah, that does make sense. Fair enough. Rolling back the years a little bit there. Yeah, Max really has are. got a very, uh, that, that mouse pad, it looks quite summery. It's got some, it's got some blue on it. it, looks like a sunset. Well, it's uh, appropriate considering the location of the tournament. If you're not aware, we are on the Mediterranean shores of Malta. This is our, our own backyard, Chad. We've lived here for a few years now. It's an absolute pleasure bringing the action from the island. I was swimming before I came into you commentation. <laughs> that's, that's not something you can uh, say about every other tournament. No, before. not too often. Well, this is a bit of a change up here. So they've thrown this smoke towards middle to try and at least suggest they were looking to try and creep nerds out, but that's not the case. The smoke to deny, and well, plans have been cancelled. So, tucking tail, rerouting right now. A lion share of endpoint are grouped up, clumped up towards mid with the bomb. Now, Just it's about Max making the mid round, I suppose. Nerds opted for the AK and uh, no helmet. As well, I respect it. Yeah, I respect it too. A man of culture. Yes. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, Kiabi comes up on top in the spam battle. Some of that young down to 40 HP. Smoke towards the red room here from Max. A little bit later. We're seeing this uh, late to mid retakes from the T's these days. Seems to be a little safer. Get out the way of the initial bombardment of utility in form of smokes, incendiaries, HGs. You can actually have a much cleaner path waiting to about the sub one minute mark. So, Nerds, the master of middle, as some people are calling him. Makes his way towards Donut, and uh, well, things are getting a bit crispy actually for Bit. He's going down there for sure. Nice work. Really well played there, man. Well, well isolated bomb, him. Yeah, Bomb's trying to come through right now to Donut to A again. This time, Perfecto and Electronic, the two tasked with dealing with this. Electronic over towards the big box, the AK in hand, and Nerd Sharp again. No head armor, no problems. Yeah, good point. The fact he's got no head armor as well gets two kills like that, and presumably wins the round single handedly here, Chad. That's wild, and I. I know I keep banging on about it, but he was doing this yesterday as well. He is a real nuisance in that mid position. No one seems to know how to shut him down. Well, this was saved weapons, you know, with upgrades around it. Lighter on util, the finances weren't there to have full sets. And at this point, Navi are the ones who are going to have to stomach the bit of the save here. So the fact that they're able to get away with that late, those are the situations where things tend to go wrong. Like yep. Electronic gets a double kill from that position. It's a completely different looking round. Now all five hoping to stay alive. Oh, they won't know. It's going to say simple. This wants to make sure his presence is known. He's still watching you. Would have loved to have seen five survive there, but still four after a round like that, no problem whatsoever. Someday Young goes down as well, a little bit of a freebie. Yeah, too close to the bomb there, so that is a, is a big issue going forward here. The fact that they're able to isolate a bit like this, especially with 30 seconds on the clock, that's a great little... That's the kill right Yeah, there. well, it's not, it's not an easy shot either. Coming out, there's so many angles to worry about. Electronic not happy, happy with things. No, no, no. You want to get the in-game leader a win on his birthday. That would be the only thing as... <laughs> this, uh, this loss today would be the worst birthday ever for him. Today. They lost to Endpoint, can you imagine? Oh, dear. It Even just a good. map would sour the mood, wouldn't it? it yeah, it really was. Blade's not happy. We're, not, really we're not going out for pizza <laughs> if we don't get a 2-0. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, a rough start here for Na'Vi. And this is what had to happen. For Endpoint to stand the chance, they had to get them a little bit frustrated, make sure they converted all of their... Their chances, and they've done so so far, have gone above and beyond any expectations. 7 2, pressures off endpoint. They've even done enough in this series to justify them looking pretty decent, you know. Anything else at this point could be a bonus. 
And uh, here we go, the set smokes and the spawns. Poor Max, he's the only one who knows them, it seems, or he's yeah. the only one throwing them. <laughs> and I'm sure they just dropped the rest of the util for him to throw a little bit later as well. But someone's going to do it. Simple. Hold the run boost. Yeah, he's been flashed and he got jarred on the wall right there. We'll still be able to take the push, take the fight. Nobody over towards B lane. So the boost gets them the information. But is anybody going to walk into Simple's sights? WP trained. And as soon as they clear out the pocket position, that wooden cubby down towards the left, they'll have a very good idea that this is completely clear and could already start to assume so. Sure. I do like this approach, though. This is one of the things a lot of teams, a lot of individuals out there want to get stuck in quite quickly towards B lane, quite quickly towards middle. And as you mentioned before, that bombardment of utility, it's an absolute onslaught. So by at least showing that presence, making them think it's a possibility, Navi to expend some of their own. They've stayed in a bit more forward postured stance here. So not in the dark in a round like this, Na'Vi. They will be able to take the fights as Endpoint try and garner this late space. Well, here we go then. Still holding on firmly towards this B lane. A retake towards middle. It's on the agenda. Simple, ready and waiting. Doesn't miss many shots like this. Give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Molotov will hold them at bay for now. Flashbang over. Electronic tucks in the cubby as well there. So watch out for that. Simple's going to be trying to take all the aggro away. Electronic swing out like a hinge, and it's going to be Kiabi towards B that goes down. He's on the other side of the map. Electronic finds at least one. Now the Orb will have to challenge Nerd, who yeah, he's low, but against that sniper, it's not too much of a big deal. Crucial on the other side of the map, trying to find an opening. Good chance there. Should but, save uh, now. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, they, the not a bad, not a bad crack there, right? They, they're forcing their rotations. They're taking the fight. So it was a decent attempt. I enjoyed the late mid control. They smoked off towards the ledge position, so SDY couldn't chip in as that third mid defense prong. So they're aware of the setup they could have been dealing with. Just couldn't get past electronic easily. And that's going to be the third round for Navi. But the score it still looks wonderful for Endpoint. He's coming up later with Spirit as well, but. Although there's been no blunders yet, Chad. That's a good thing no, to know as well, right? No, no drop no... balls. Exactly. That's what you want to see. That's what Endpoint is synonymous with sometimes. Um, but we haven't seen anything like that. No full diffuses. No crazy wall bangs that they've received. Like Yabi had a very nice controlled double wall bang kill to actually get them going. But uh, here we go. Round number 11. 7-3. Do not adjust your sets. That is correct. Endpoint on the T side of Ancient are off to an absolute flyer. Can't believe they've all got the same gloves. I know, and those gloves, let me tell you, they're about eight thousand dollars each, Jack. So. Uh, oh, so are they flexing, or are they actually trying to make it more difficult for teams to get information? Both, maybe. Yeah, Why not both? I suppose. I think at the highest level, you might get like donated skins or something along I, those what lines. I'm I think uh, someone maybe kind of came together and said, "This might be a nice idea." Yeah, let's we'll let's have a matching this. set, shall we? Well, Electronic is. Uh, Stifled Nerds, who has been a hero, 102 ADR up until this point. He's already dead, has to sit back and watch as the rest of his team, they do have this B lane control, but the bigger issue is the fact that Bid is pushed up in A main. And with him here, he's gonna have all that early info that cool. it will not be an A finish. He's gonna get him again, isn't he? Yep. Right, probably leave that one now, Crucial, I would say. You'd gladly take that jewel every day of the week. And you don't we don't often see head heads up orb jewels like this, but Simple knows he's gonna be on that box. So I'll like, just go fight him, guys. That's fine. Session the smoke's down as well. I just, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just click the button when I see him, I'll be fine. Um this looks like another safe situation, but maybe they're getting a bit tired of that. Um we'll see whether there's anything to be said towards the cave. I'd say Simple has something to say about it. Sunday Young tucked in the corner, but it is oftenly checked even when the a bait has been made. They're not going to go any further, though. 35 seconds remaining, just going back towards middle. Are there any opportunities? Anyone stepping out of line? Here they and, go again. Uh, towards Donut. They found the most success on this side of the map, to be fair. But Biz tucked into main, which means it's 180 degrees that they're going to have to clear here as they Double come kill on potential. Side. Double kill potential, Chad. They're going to get the bomb down first, don't they? And it's the problem. If you, if Max, you've got, to win this. you've got to win this fight right here. The bomb needs to go down bit. Jostling from the A main position. The bomb is going through. It's been planted. 40 seconds on the clock. Perfecto is able to find Kyobi here and Max. So it's not working out now, but the plant's good. All things considered and Surreal left in a one on four. Let's see what he can do with this. Not much, I'd imagine, with the Galil. And they know exactly where he is now as well. Uh, he might just be looking to, to save the weapon. And indeed. Howdy, guys. I guess there's uh, an AK where Kyobi died, perhaps. He's going to have a look, see what he can find. Maybe he wants to see if Crucial's AWP was left over towards the ramp, but no, it's just going to be the Galil. It's an unfortunate reconnaissance mission there for Surreal, but the plant coming through means there's enough for uh, at least a half buy for Endpoint here. Lost bonus, wow, you're halfway through, so they might want to take a partial and buy into the next. And that's between the wickets from Simple there. 
Pretty controlled round from Na'Vi, though. I know we're talking about Endpoint a lot more because it's the, the more interesting storyline and what they're doing on the T side at this point. Uh, everyone expects Na'Vi to take this one, which, of course, I do as well. It's just uh, nice to see it being competitive. Bitsport, no utility into this round, so I believe he's going to be a bit uh, aggressive on this. Two in towards main, they're going to walk into Simple Zorp, a missed shot, but Bit is here. And remember, he's here just to fight, just to die, just to try and take as many as he can, and it's just going to be one. Did they recover the rifle? Not quite. He left all his util in spawn. So you can understand when you go for an aggressive maneuver like that that you, you don't want to take the nade, so there's the, the drop nades coming into play. Oh, this boost actually... Oh, we saw him, and it works out. Nice shot from Surreal. Good reaction as well. I like, just catch him in the corner of his eye after looking towards CD spawn. The flick was just beautiful. Okay, a chance in this one. They can't recover that weapon, presumably, but still, they have the man advantage here. And Simple's down to 26 points of health. Someday I'm patrolling red, and he's been fully flashed off. Well, we said there's been no blunders so far. This would be the first, and actually it would be for Na'Vi. SDY, yeah. he's been dinked up as well. Ooh, Perfecto, right, so he's going to have to do it all here. <laughs> what on earth was that? Oh my! The drive Kiyami. by Deagle. Haven't seen one of those in years. I haven't seen one of those in absolutely years. That's beautiful. Okay. They needed a few of those to go in their favor. Kiaba used to be known for a, a Deagle or two back in the day. Simple though, still alive. Do not give it to him, boys. Just make them work for it. Perfecto. Oh, the Deagle headshot comes in again. <sighs> Take a deep breath, Kiabi. Get out of there. Run the timer down. They're both tantalizingly low, Chad. Perfect to a four. Simple at 26, 30 between them. A smoke available, but there is a huge gap. One kill will do it here, I think. And this is the eco victory coming in from Endpoint. Simple trying to save the AWP at this stage. That's all he can do, but Kayabi slams the door shut. Three kills, two with the Desert Eagle there. Fantastic shot to open this up towards a B bonsai, yeah. Got to be thanking the big man upstairs for that one. Yeah, that was uh, a, a very tidy shot, just screaming out of the cave position right there. And this is not the type of round they should be winning Look at all. At this. And this is the AK that they picked up from Bits Corpse, right? Because Surreal exactly. had that Deagle. You could see Kyobi had Kevlar, but Nerds, he was the one playing, I guess, the sleeper agent over towards that cave position. He picked up a rifle, but didn't have any armor. And that's a huge round to win. That is a massive round because Na'Vi now, this could be their economy just being in the bin on the CT side very late here. Neither team really has a loss bonus to their name. We're into round number 13. Oh, let's go. And again, this little <laughs> mid maneuver, pulling it off. Nerds has got the better of Electronic this time round. Okay, five and four. Electronic removed. Dispatched of early. And we've got three players towards the B door. They've not been isolated here at all. they will be boosting over and seeing if anyone's exploring towards the... B round position, a safer spot this time. Don't want to feed Simple any more old frags on top of that box, perhaps. Simple, though, on the other hand, is actually towards a mid cutout. Likely to be a B finish here. All five players here. And the fact that you have no information on the flanks coming in from the A side, which is a very common maneuver, uh, you'd have to be moving in the next 15 seconds or so. Simple. Ooh. Oh, what's he doing? What on earth? Now, that's the tilt factor, I would say, Chad. That's not really a maneuver. He just jumped up and gave yeah, it away. No, I, no I don't flashes, think he expected no anybody close because. SDY just did like a close jiggle, which I assume is the line that Simple was worried about. But never mind, the fights are still going. Perfecto, oh the highest rated player for oh Na'Vi no. gets three <laughs> massive kills. The round is up for dispute right now as again, Endpoint, tail between the legs, back towards this A site. It's open, they can get in and they can get the bomb down. Bit is just adjusting to this now. Okay, that's insane. That's gonna be the, the player of the map so far. Wonderful scenes there. That's perfecto. Mows him down with a silenced M4. It looked like the round was almost done and dusted there, but the bomb plant has come in. They've won a three on two so far. And we'll see Kiabi and Mighty Max to receive this time. Couple of flashbangs available. Kiabi with a stellar round in the previous. He'll be boosting up Max and hoping to get the first kill as possible. Takes down the MP9. Surely doesn't get the second, but he gives Kiabi a winnable situation here, but the smoke makes things very difficult and uncomfortable. He knows exactly where he is now. He has got the kit. Maybe it's a full defuse here, Chad. I would say he probably goes for it. Yeah, he's trying to get him into towards the box, but he's in the open bit, diffusing in a bit more of an odd angle, and Kyobi yeah. can't find him. The round, thanks to Perfecto, is confirmed by Bit. And Na'Vi, they scraped together five, but that wasn't looking good. It really wasn't. After that simple kill came in, it seemed like he offered himself up for free. That was a five on three. They go in towards the B sign Perfecto. This is the moment, I'm sure. Great flashbang coming in from SDY. And it's just like the best sequence we've seen today. That's really beautiful. That's world-class stuff. Mighty Max, good spray attempt from him as well. And Kiabi, he got maybe a little bit lucky. Those deagles in the previous couldn't replicate that. 
going into the next one. That's a big round to give away as well. But it still comes down to the 1v1. The economy is not secure on the CT side. Two MP9s here. But either side, really. A couple of Galils out as well. Uh, again, this same smoke towards mid. Electronic addressing it up close and personal this time. The MP9. Another opening for yeah. Nerds. Well, that was, that was Nerds from mid, right? Who just killed him. And Electronic's looking. How did that even happen? <laughs> that, how, how did that? I was close mid. How did that happen? It's a fair question. It's a fair question. Uh, they're just going to stay staunch. They're going to keep in this setup here. So they're relinquishing A completely. Oh, they're down like a man. Beer's going to have to hit some crispy ones. Known for his aim. Known for the taps. Known for that headshot percentage. Keeps himself up there with the shot. Ooh, you can hear that. Ding coming through the wooden boards there towards pocket. Crucial. Takes a boatload of damage down to 30 HP. Sub one minute mark. Yabi has been impressive so far. They've explored towards the cave. I hope he's got his torch with him. They really love the misdirection, don't they, Endpoint, right? Like, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll feel it out, and then and if they don't like what they see, they just happily drop back. And they seem to be walking into open bomb sites more often than not, Chad. Not gonna lie, especially towards A. Giabi just showing a bit of presence towards K before he'll join the other lads as well, and it's a bit to defend. Yeah, well, five kills to his name here. That AK, we already have spoken about it in his hands. They've smoked Red House. He's aware that mid and A are both possibilities, and he's been left on an absolute island. If Endpoint deal with Bit right now, this round is done, but Bit might have something else to say. Nerd's not too far around the corner. There's one headshot. Four more to find. They're starting to make their presence known. Smokes, flashes, nades come into the site, and Bit with another crispy. He's going to look for more. Stepping out. Perfecto. He's assisting here as well, and he's going to get it done. That's great work from the anchor player on the A site. Bit stepped up when they needed him. Been pretty quiet from some of the stars on Na'Vi so far, but that's eight kills for Bit now. Very nice defense there. Na'Vi starting to pull the socks up at this point. Bad news for Endpoint fans, but uh, last round should be, I said that with basic breath, a foregone conclusion. We only have Tech Nines, Galils, one AK-47 here against a full buy of Na'Vi. Excellent precision here from Bit. This is what you'd like to see from him. Never a doubt that this round was going in their favor once it got to the latter stages. Simple, that's more like it. The smile's coming out now. And uh, it would take a miracle for Endpoint to convert this one, especially now Na'Vi still right there, alive and well. Oh, that was the shot I think Bit was looking for last exactly. round. Uh, Simple's going to show him how it's done. They're using this smoke against them now. You can see the adjustment from Na'Vi, just constantly playing around that. If you want to provide us the buffer, we'll use that to stall out some of your B crawls. And as you mentioned, foregone conclusion, just three kills away. Oh, it's the last round of the half as well, Chad. And I think if I'd have told you at the start, I think Endpoint going to win the T side, you would have called me an idiot. Oh, definitely. So, uh, I think we would have laughed you think, out of the room. I think I did say it to you before the broadcast started, as a joke perhaps, but uh, I didn't think they'd actually be winning the half. This is uh, very impressive. Like, everything came together that had to, winning the pistol, converting it, maybe interesting financial decisions from Na'Vi, a couple of clutches falling down the wayside, but... Uh, here we go then, Mighty Max and Nerds, uh, not really much to mention here. Perfecto should get at least one of these kills, which he does. Maybe not the second, but SDY will finish things off. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first map of this best of three series. It's the pick of Endpoint, but they've surprised us all. They've managed to win the half on the T side of Ancient. It's a fantastic showing, and they're going to have to keep it going if they have any chance in the second. We'll take a break and be right back. Future pros, back to Ancient with a basic B-Site execute you can throw with a little help from your friends. For this execute, you will need two smokes, two flashes, and one molly. Ask very kindly for your teammate to drop their smoke into this corner, and when you are ready, get into the corner too. To throw your first smoke, aim in the middle of the doorway in the middle of these bricks. Then jump throw the smoke. This will smoke off the left side of sight. While in the same spot, aim above this wall decoration and in line with the leaf above. Then jump through the smoke. 
This will smoke off the right side, but be careful as the CT could try and sneak around the edge of the smoke. To throw your molly, aim at this part of the door along this point. Then jump throw the molly. This molly will push someone out of the cubby, which is incredibly annoying to clear. Now the smokes and molly are down, aim to this section of the door, walk forward and jump throw your flash quickly. This flash will get anyone on the side, but hopefully not your teammates pushing up long. Finally, throw your last flash over the triangle to stop someone from spraying through the long smoke and further blind anyone looking at the ramp. And that's it, pretty easy. And remember, just go B. Welcome back, Na'Vi versus Endpoint. And that's right, Endpoint actually have the lead. They finish 8-7 on the first half here of HN. Looking to convert. There is a chance in this world, Chad, where they take the first map. Yeah, a couple of key factors. Nerds, your boy went 6-2 and two in opening. Jules Kirby with a big clutch on the B bombsite and the pistol round going in the favor of Endpoint is what's gotten them here. Let's see if they can continue this streak as well, Na'Vi just rushing towards the B site with pace. No one there to receive it whatsoever. There's have to be a full B retake. Uh, the bookmakers don't believe it. The odds have not shifted at all. <laughs> That's actually kind of insane, surely. Well, no faith in Endpoint here and maybe some in... SDY, you have actually gotten past him. Him and Simple are meant to guard the doors here. The back line is open now. Max has been able to find a bit of traction through that problem. Simple's going to have to do a lot. The Glock, sure, he's outside the doors. They will have to deal with him, but they can just waltz on past. They've kept Simple busy, and they've even taken him out of the equation. Ooh, okay, then. It's down to Electronic. The birthday boy will have to deliver on all fronts at this stage. But I think the only thing on the menu tonight is 100% British beef as they're coming for him. They're going to take him down. Surely all the headshots. <laughs> and the bomb has been defused, Shadow. It's a little a bit too close there. I thought they had that one in the bag. It almost fell apart. But there it is. And it's going to be 9-7. Both pistols for endpoint. I would say a win condition for this map to be converted. Yeah, protect the president right there. But there's no way, if you're simple in SDY, you're expecting so many bodies to be making its way through the back lines. That's just not the way it's going. Uh, you would expect maybe one player, maybe two. They had four bodies pushing through, and they completely just ignored them. Max was able to slip past after SDY took the info, and Perfecto gets caught with the pants around the ankles yes. there. So maybe a little bit of a misunderstanding of how that one was meant to be defended. But this is great from endpoint. Will be the force by of Na'Vi. Two AKs, two Galils, and a Deagle with a light smattering of utility here over towards the A site to maybe set their sights on a couple of more even aim jewels. Take their time and allow this early utility to subside. One towards B lane, one towards elbow on mid, starting to fade now. It's a scary force by as well, isn't it? Two AKs, two Galils, a Deagle. That's it's basically a full buy when you break it down like that in the hands of Na'Vi as well. Fortunately, only two players have helmets. One of those is Simple, who does more than enough damage towards Nerds. Crucial now needs to get one back, which he does, but he will be traded out by Simple oh. almost certainly. That's going to be 19 HP, decent effort from Crucial. He does enough to. Keep the round in contention, but uh, towards A, they start to head. And kiabi has got a lot of work to do here. He's in there with the Temple. Surreal will join him. I actually like the angle from Surreal here. I like the follow-up as well. Remember, Simple's low. Kiabi with the follow-up frag. Three versus two here. This is the moment here. This decides the round. If Perfetto can find some space towards Donut, I would say Kiabi with the flashbang might be able to set Surreal up. And he absolutely does. What a clean round that is in the end. Three Beautiful. players survive. You're thinking this one's really into a bit of an issue, but they're aware that the bombsite is going to be a little bit weaker over towards A. Not the case. Surreal handles business. Kirby rotates in as well. 
No, it's one happy with something at the end there of that round. Had a little bit of a shake of the head, but they're up to 10. Things are looking great for Endpoint. Maybe even better than they were looking yesterday in a matchup that uh, was closer to being a 50 50 than this one right here. So, another one of those must win rounds for Endpoint. These sometimes can fall apart, even just against Eagle No Armor. Simple's opted for Deagle Head Armor, so. You know they're not messing around. And I dare say that one's about to connect. Mighty Max, though, good shot. Perfecto might need uh, a little bit of assistance here. On the CT side, he was doing a lot of work. Looking crispy, had some key multi-kill rounds and was topping the scoreboard before we flipped over into the second half. And just there, it felt like he was trying to take matters into his own hands. Right, simple with nine kills to his name, nine for Bit, who got activated a little bit late. SDY's been quiet too, but he's a more supportive element. It's just the, the lack of consistent contributions from the cast right. is why Na'Vi are finding themselves in this hole. It doesn't have to be everybody getting, you know, a massive 4K round every round, but you need to get your 1K or your sure. 2K to piece this all together. Now, Definitely. maybe they're feeling, uh, you know, first game of the day blues. Well, that's when you want to catch them. That's exactly when you want to start showing up. An endpoint. They're fired up right now. They've got all the advantages to get asked for. Potentially 3-0 on both sides here, which would be absolutely stellar. Bit of a line up here. A bit of a conversation about where they want the util to land. So this is just going to be the long smoke. And then I suppose the flash to facilitate this deagle, but a very difficult crossfire to get past the good smoke molly defense on the B side. They put down one of their own, and Mint's me is made of the final members of Na'Vi. It is just going to be SDY. The P250 sure comes scampering out, but Max aware. Is Clean that round, Chad. Yeah, three kills for Max there, so good stuff. So... They've got four M4s, uh, Max with the MP9. They could throw out at it an AWP if they really wanted to. They, um, they really like contesting middle yesterday, though, remember? Sure. They, they love that mid-aggression. So uh, having the AWP in Crucial's hands right now, uh, let's see if where it comes into the game plan. Yeah, I don't think you want to be throwing away anything at this stage. To keep the MP9 up, do what you can with uh, what you got. It's, it's unlikely that Simple will bring out the AWP this early on the T side, if at all. And uh, here we go, then. We'll see what can be done. No, it's... Known for his mid plays on both sides here. They, they like to use that early utility as well and fend off any aggressive players at the very start. SDY, oh, he's making a lot of noise here. He's above on the ledge position, and that's Nerds once again opening frag, but Electronic will deal with him. Good awareness from Nerds and a great trade from Crucial. So they've been able to stifle Get out. the initial game plan from Na'Vi. They wanted to try and pin to this mid control from the B lane as well with the cave smoke. And well, at this point, they've been left with not a whole lot. Going to walk back to Surreal, who's actually hit a couple of nice shots over towards this A side, whether it's T or CT side. Yeah, Surreal, underrated player for sure. On his day, he can be very handy. We'll see what he can make of this one. Nice smoke, just to buy a little bit of time. Allow him to maneuver out of Donut if required. Can jump above that somewhat as well. Here we go. I think he's got him. There it is. Well played by Surreal. Bit had no idea. And that's good awareness of Max as well. Doesn't want to challenge out at all. Just buying time in that position where he can just lock them out. Four versus two. Perfecto and Simple. As you mentioned, Perfecto has been doing a lot of good work in that first half. No one yet to really frag in the second. They just need to hold on at this point, Endpoint. 40 seconds remaining. One player towards Donut. Nice angle, but doesn't necessarily need to challenge the kills. Well. Crucial the timer down. Good job. Yeah, good wombo combo. That the entire setup, Crucial was just waiting to swing off of the contact of Surreal's Jiggle. It works perfectly. Now poor Perfecto. Not a whole lot he can do here. I bear in mind as well, like... I know Endpoint are kind of the whipping boys of the group, but everyone likes to make a joke about it. They took Spirit to overtime twice yesterday and took a map off them. That's not an easy task, Chad. That's a difficult one. Yeah, well, well how things started yesterday on Overpass, it was very flat, right? Yes. It was it was not a good showing at all. And, and then they got the boys fired up. Regin had a couple of words. They started to get into things on Ancient, and they've been a completely different looking team since, right? They were more competitive on the final map uh, yesterday versus yep. Spirit as well. Definitely. So uh, maybe that's all they needed, a bit of a, a bit of a talking to, a bit of a wake-up call. Because uh, you, you heard from SDY in the interview, you know, every, everyone's good in Tier 1 Counter-Strike. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I know what he means by that. I know what he means. Yeah, but this is the thing. You can't get caught sleeping, right? And right now, Na'Vi are being made to look well, that way. That's what I mean. Like, all it takes is a couple of pistol rounds and a clutch or two, and then you've got a, a real difficult situation you've got to dig yourself out of. Uh, in terms of the setup again, pistols once more. This could be 13-7. Endpoint have not missed a beat yet, Chad. They haven't lost the pistols yet. Which is a difficult thing to, to kind of bring together against Na'Vi. They, they're normally famed for their deagles and Tech 9 victories. And you have to say credit where it's due. That, that's an excellent kind of talking point there. 
And let's see if the caster curse is a real thing or not, because uh, this would be the perfect time for Na'Vi yeah, to get course. the engine like, started. Yeah, of course. I it all up and made a big deal out of that. This is where they probably win one of these rounds. Well, they're about to do a BXQ, right? So they've got three smokes here. They can smoke long, cave, and short if they would like, flash and go, and just to get this bomb down. If they want to get a little bit more creative, try and okay. go for that deeper control we were talking about, that's a possibility as well. Util's lined up. They've got to hit these shots. Good incendiary. They, do they want to push past this? They kind of have to at this point. They've expelled everything they've got. Nice gap for nerds found. Plant should be coming in momentarily, but it's at the back of the pack. Oh, this really could fall apart. We'll see what happens here. The smokes make things very awkward indeed. So many players there. Kiabi's in trouble as well. This is where I could actually start to go in Navi's favor. Man advantage. Two rifles, rifles recovered up, yeah. indeed. And uh, smoking off the cave, not a bad choice. It's actually like a full defuse situation, if you ask me. With so many players. Are they all in cave yet? Yeah, they are. They're going to have to try and this. It's not planned. They didn't plan for this. They're just going to be able happening? to sit the bomb. This What's is happening? a massive What's issue happening? right now. What have they done that for? How have they <laughs> forgotten where they That's planted like, the bomb? I was bomb. playing online and we've done something like that. That's what I imagine you going mad right now and saying, why have you all gone in the bloody cave? That's what? what's going on. They, like, they didn't, if they'd planned a default, I could understand because <laughs> exactly. you have four players spamming. Or... No I can't find anything to say about that. That kind of makes that like even slightly appealing. That's one yeah. smoke and look at they had to jump up on your thing and it's hoped the best of all the hard work they did. Yeah. Uh, you had time to reposition. Why did you all go in there? That's an oopsie. That's a blunder, Chad. Okay, well, Straight uh, up. Nerds is very happy with that. A birthday uh, blunder. Uh, <laughs> on the Navi side, I imagine not so much, but the scoreline now, it's in it's in dangerous territory. Absolutely. So at, at, at this point, this is where, you know, they, they shake himself off. They, you know, get the door the off the shoulders. After that one. He's calling another timeout. Yeah, so what He's the just, bloody just, hell is going I think on they've just called back-to-back -back timeouts. Right, right, lads. I didn't, didn't think I had to say this. When you get the bomb planted, try and be in different positions if possible. Well, whatever, what, whenever that timeout finished and whatever was said by the teammates, he had to force another timeout because whatever the conclusion was, oh, not, I see. Not I what he was back looking to back for. To him in the previous round. No, he's actually said in do the same one. round, back to back in the same round. Okay, all right, that's significant. That suggests things really are falling apart here. They didn't get the memo. They should have the memo now. Uh, he said, actually, another thing. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Let's keep going. Lads. I need 30 more <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and another thing. Okay, well. Regina doesn't have to say anything. Just, just shout, come on, that will do. Yeah, well, you know at this point that Navi are actually sweating. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, look, if Endpoint win this round, Navi are in danger. But yep. at this point, I still do not I believe agree. that I Navi agree. are in danger. I know, I know. You're absolutely right. But uh, this is this really is the big round. Manny's not great on the Endpoint side. They have had some close ones. Ooh, electronic, I never like when players are in that position. It always scares me. A lot of damage being inflicted, and it will be surreal. Another one gifted at the start of the round. I dare say another crucial. He does hit the shot, at least, down to 11 HP. So here was the whole game plan. Oh, no, it's just pushing through. No game plan. Don't worry about it. This absolute oh, menace. Oh, my. Yeah, they just have thrown everything out the window here. They have made crazy Counter-Strike happen. Bit will get a trade back. Surreal's still here in middle, and we'll return to that later. He's going to tuck in towards the cutout, up and over. From the ledge position is Perfecto. Oh, yeah, he sniffed out his prey and he's grabbed one back. So 16 kills for Perfecto now. How much does this guy have to do? Got a lot of room here. They can continue to force the CTs to ask the questions of where they are. They're going to answer them on their own. Aggressive down towards the B lane push. Max is going to continue a jaunt through towards T spawn. And that might end up being the right play because SDY is allowing Perfecto to work right now who has this top red room. Time, slowly siphoning off the clock, 45 seconds. Mighty Max quite far away from the action as well, all the way in the murky swamps of T-Spawn. And Perfecto. Oh, that's a nice shot from Crucial coming through. It's going to be set up for him. And now, what can he really do with this one? The bomb's down. Crucial is aware of it. And uh, Max's flank just... is good now, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Now they can clear the trifecta. There's not really anything to be said here. There shouldn't be a world where Perfecto wins this one. Look at the movement. Really nice. I was going to say, crucial hits those. But this is the thing, and I wanted to return to this. What happened was they were throwing an A fake. What they were hoping was it would draw the mid players back to quickly to respond to the A play. Once they saw Surreal got the kill in mid, he's normally the A anchor. So SDY swung out main to take the fight. Well, Crucial was there with the AWP. 
Yep. That just threw the round into pandemonium, and this was the icing on top of the cake. Nurts just balls in his hands, coming through that smoke, going, I'm here, boys. And Simple <laughs> feels a miserable. At that point, I'd say. Oh, it was massive play. Yeah, that's huge. Like, he really is the king of middle. It has to be said again, like both sides, he's causing such a nuisance. And speaking of which, the double kill from Crucial. Mighty Max backs him up. They're looking for Matt Point here, and I dare say they've got it. Five on two, perfecto. Simple, trying to salvage the round, but it looks like it might be done. Nurts finds a penultimate kill. And simple left in a five versus one chat. They might have actually done it. They're going to hold Navi to single digits. They might actually do it here. This is an absolute drubbing. I, look, as I said uh, two rounds ago, I didn't think Navi were in danger. They're obviously in danger now. Yep. Look at this Double from Crucial. You, you love these. You love these. You're just shooting at this point. You, whatever you get on the screen, and they're just lined up perfectly. Oh, SDY so a good. bit. Let's go, nerds. Yes, indeed. What a victory this is going to be here. Just map number one of the series. We do have Dust 2 up next. Just the romance of it, Chad. Even they don't win the series. The fact they've got a, a map off here. Like, just to silence the, the haters, as it were. Well, they might get knighted after this. I think they should do. The queen, she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an opening frag as well. Birthday boy. Send packing early. It's going to be a five on three. Surreal has been lights out for me. A player so underrated. And... Uh, Continues to frag here. This could be an awkward exchange for Nerds, though. Damage inflicted, to be fair. Take simple down to 22. Round not done by any stretch, but still looking good for Endpoint. One minute 20. Towards Red Room we go again as Bit explores their options. Hunting for territory. The bomb all the way back Ooh. in the T-Ramp. Just to know. Can't really do much. Simple just smoked behind Bit, which might make them believe that nobody's actually been able to lurk through. Yeah, this I think you always have to be aware of the Red Room, though. You always got to keep an eye on it to some extent. You can't just walk past without checking the corners. Surreal so looks aware with his positioning right yeah. now over towards CT spawn. So, yeah, it's a possibility. They have very good awareness to close this one out, Endpoint. This is quite the victory. Less than a minute. Perfecto recovers the bomb, and he's going through T spawn up towards... Well, middle or layout, suggest A, considering Bit's position, simple and towards the A tunnels as well. And it's crucial with the AWP. A nice spot. They, I don't think they'll smoke that off. They have got one smoke, but you usually smoke CT spawn, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's, it's likely maybe they throw a Molotov at best here, but it's very... Oh, Yo. don't even worry about that. That could be the round. Bit, the linchpin, dead. They know what crucial is now. Simple's taking a shot. He's still low on HP. Cannot push the molly. Surreal's got, got another kill. 21 kills. Can he make it 22? It's just perfect to win a one on four. Endpoint are about to win 16 to seven against Na'Vi. <laughs> it will be surely a scrappy finish. Yeah, of course it is. It'll be right down to the wire, I reckon, Chad. He's got a couple of kills in him, perfecto. But I think they've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Nine seconds remaining. It would take something amazing at this point. But speaking of which, that is amazing. Endpoint in the first map of this best of three when everyone thought they were down and out. They have a colossal victory. They're 16 to 7. Massive showing across the board. Shout out to Nerd. Shout out to Surreal. Amazing performance. It's still a long way to go. But still, that's a great way to kick off the morning. That's an exciting prospect. We do have Dust 2 coming up next. We'll leave you with the desk and be back after this very short break.